Oh, hey, what's up? Richard and Lindsay are coming over. I'm setting the table. We're going to talk about our first weekend at the island. Roll the intro. So Richard and Lindsay are coming over. Hey honey, I think they pulled up. I've made dinner, I hope it's good. It's been cooking all day. Um, I'm excited for them to come over because we're gonna talk about the Island House and our first weekend that we spent there. It was, it was an interesting weekend. So we packed up everybody and we headed out to the Island House. We wanted to take inventory on what we just bought. We bought a mess. It's a huge mess. I have left so much stuff. Clothes, toothbrushes, books, lots of books. We um, found five checkbooks. VHSs. Thousands of books. Yeah. Hundreds. Hundreds of thousands. Hundreds of books. <laughs> <laughs> they took what they had to have and they left. Now, to be fair, that was a deal. We said, it's no big deal. Take what you need, leave what you don't want, and we'll clean up the mess. We just wanted to make it easy for them to get out of there. We knew going in, it would be a little bit messy. And I think Richard knew better than anyone. So yeah, you walk into a mess like that, and you're like, what am I gonna do with this mess? So the first thing we thought is, there's obviously too much stuff here to haul out by truckloads. So I called my friend Brent Givens at McGivens Dumpsters to deliver us a rollaway can on site. So we went room to room and started picking up all the stuff. And there was, there was just tons of memories and DVD tapes and cassette tapes and VCR tapes and really old stuff and records. But the things that they left were stuff that we couldn't use, and so we had to get rid of it. And so we packed it up in bags and just kept walking it down the stairs and you know we we're walking things down three flights of stairs over and over and over and it took a while to clean everything up but it didn't take long to realize that walking down flights of stairs is not the best way to get rid of stuff. Now, I think Richard knew that the whole time. Whenever I talked to the guy, I called him, I said, hey, I need you to back this thing up as close as possible to the house. And the reason I did that is because you know Hammy, and Hammy don't like to walk up and down those stairs very much. What we discovered is things go down much faster if you throw them out the window. There's a lot of stuff in the island. <laughs> a lot of stuff I've never seen before, a lot of interesting stuff. So that brings me to a stopping point. When we bought the house, we had heard that there was a room in there that had a padlock on it that no one had been in in years. Now the word was that the doctor had been doing some experiment in there with a freezer and a thermometer or something, but all we knew is that there was a, there was a door in there that was padlocked. And when we opened it up and we saw the freezer, we decided to stop right there and not do anything else in that room because it was a little creepy. So that room immediately became the mystery room. And we left it a mystery, and we'll get into that on another episode. Going through a lot of the house and seeing the equipment and a lot of the things that were going on, it kind of spoke to who the doc was. I mean, it's clear that this guy is highly intelligent. He's a handsome guy. There was a picture of him juggling three balls on a unicycle. He's got a star named after him. And if it weren't for him being who he was, we wouldn't get the opportunity to be fixing up this really unique house and have some great experiences with our family and with our kids. So I'm grateful to the guy, and I really respect someone with an unorthodox view of things. So we started working our way up the floors. We started off on the ground floor, then we cleaned out the kitchen, we got up into the third floor and cleaned it out, and that brought us to the lighthouse. At the very top of the island house is this room. It's probably about eight by 20. It's got an absolutely beautiful view of the whole lake and all the surrounding area. It's just, it's really incredible up there. But the doc had something going on. We weren't quite sure what it was exactly. We figured it was some kind of very bright light uh, equipment with fans and blowers, mirrors and reflectors, and there was argon gas. I mean, whatever this thing was, it was incredibly complex. It was also extremely heavy. 
we saw some receipts for some of the parts of this machine. There were, I think one of them was like $18,000 for something. We tried to call around to see if anybody wanted it and we just couldn't find a buyer for it. So that was a question. What do you do with all this expensive equipment that nobody wants that we don't have room for? You do what anyone would do. You throw it out the window. So we just started throwing anything and everything out of the window. If it wasn't tied down, it took a flight. Carried me to higher ground, rise up, rise up. Staring down on what I found, well, I think I found a smile for me. For me, smile until I see what it is she sees in me, say me. My old body and the rise, I'm making her constantly around. Look up, come on, look up. Things are looking up for me. Size me up so that you might see them. Hey, baby, me and you, you and me. Hey, she got the smile for me. Oh, hey, oh, hey. And so at the end of the weekend, there was a massive pile of stuff outside. You know, the dumpster was full and the whole yard was full of stuff that we could burn. So we piled it up around the birdhouse and lit it up on fire. Now, definitely don't try any of this at home. You know, we're from Louisiana. We've been doing stupid stuff like this for our whole lives, but I definitely don't recommend it. And there it went. Everything that was in the house was gone and it was out in the yard burning. And I had time to just kind of sit back and reflect on things. And I couldn't help but thinking, what the hell have I gotten us into? On the next episode, we're gonna talk about the money. We'll go through all of the things related to the budget. What our plan is for the building, how much it's gonna cost, what we bought it for, what it appraised for. After the money, we'll get into demolition, where me and Henry had a little help. And that's it. We'll see you next time on The Island House. I'm not real sure what that, uh, what that was used for, but I'm sure it's some oh! highly scientific uh, awfulness. <laughs> <laughs> uh. We're going to get a first hand view of what it's like to fly down four flights of stairs. That wasn't so good. As you can see, we're having some accuracy issues. <laughs>